Hey guys, so today we actually have a pretty cool device here. This is the Crest P1200H45, and this is an ultrasonic cleaner. And what this does is this actually cleans really, really bad and disgusting motherboards with a special solution and mix. And we're going to show you that today. Let me show you the board real quick. But if you look at this one, we actually got the one that does have the little heat timer and temperature setting. Okay, guys, so this is what we have here. We have a 2017 MacBook Pro. We're just going to show you all this liquid damage that we see. See all the dark spots, anything that kind of doesn't look right, and it does, you can kind of see the little shadows absolutely everywhere. It does look really bad. It's been impacted by a lot of liquid damage. Client left it out in the rain, and it's been covering us, soaking this thing very, very bad. You can see this part peeled off a little bit here, but we can put it back on. Yep. And that's a little bit better. Okay, that's a good little covering for the chip. Um, you can see all the damage absolutely everywhere. And to clean this by hand would be extremely difficult and take a lot of time. And even that, it still is in a total fool foolproof way because you want to make sure you get underneath the chips. And the way to do that, usually you can put some flux underneath it, which would really help it a lot too. But in this case, since it's so bad, we want to make sure we get a deep cleaning. So we're showing you right now the before of it, all the damage that's all over it. You can see all the spots and everything. And we will show you after what the board's going to look like once we take it out and once we clean it. So here it is. This is what we're going to be using today. Here's the Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner. Here's all the little solutions that you're going to need. The brand in the alcohol, the distilled water. And we're going to be showing you pretty much how to use it. This one that we have actually has a little timer there. That's actually pretty important instead of the analog one. We have a digital one, which is pretty cool. You do want to make sure you get a, the two and a half gallon one because that's actually going to be able to fit the bigger motherboards like this 15 inch MacBook Pro. If you get any smaller than that, you're going to have trouble. You can use the smaller one for, for smaller boards, but if you want to future proof yourself, especially this is the one Apple uses and this is probably going to be seeing a lot, especially if you have a shop or if you do this for a living, it's really important probably to have the bigger one. Um, you can see you can submerge it now and it fits absolutely perfect. Look at all that space in between it. You want to make sure you set it to 65C and you want to set it to 4 minutes. And once the 4 minutes are up, we're going to flip it. So turn it on. And you can hear the bubbles too. That's the noise that actually makes little vibrations in there. All right, so we're going to come back in just a few minutes, and then we're going to go flip it. Okay, it was done. That's the one side's done. You can put that to the side now. You just want to grab it. Make sure you have gloves and everything. It is, it's pretty hot water, and you don't want to get the solution on your hand. So you want to flip it. All right, so you just want to make sure it's flipped over. We flip it to the other side now. And we're, then we're going to do the same thing four minutes on this side. And the digital clock does make it a lot more easier. If you have the analog one, it doesn't look as nice and it's a little bit more difficult to use. This one's just very simple. You just set the timer, you set the, the temperature, and then you're ready to go. So once it's done, you can do one side and then the other. We can take it out, and now we want to make sure we get all the cleaning solution and we get the water off. So the best way to use that is to get a little basin. And once you get the basin, you want to make sure you have, uh, we would say probably absolute alcohol would be good, about 99% or higher. If you can go higher, of course, that would be great. Um, I really wouldn't want to use the one that's from the store, maybe like 90%. I would, since this is completely drenched, I want to, and you're going to be pouring it directly on it, you want to get the highest you possibly can. So I recommend at least 99% or above. And what you can do is you can actually fill this up. You can put a big puddle. You can make sure it fills all the way to the top, which is fine. But um, if you want to get a good clean, you, don't, you can only leave it in there for about a minute because what the alcohol is going to do, it's going to push the water out and any of the other cleaning solution, all that's going to be pushed out from away from the components and the motherboard. And you'll see how nice and clean it does look once we do that. So you can see right now even how clean it does look. It looks very, very clean, if you remember from what it looked like just a little bit earlier. And that Crest Ultrasonic does such a fantastic job. And of course, at that price point, it better, because they cost about $1,500 or so dollars. 
and we recommend getting those big sizes. If you go get a little bit cheap and want to get the smaller size, that's okay, but that's not going to cover you for those bigger motherboards, like this 15 inch one that we have here. Okay, so we're going to take our 99% bottle here, and we're just going to put a little bit. You can fill it up if you want. You want to put a little puddle, that's fine. You can fill it up quite a bit. Um, but that's it is a little bit wasteful. There's no real need to because what what's going to right when it touches it's just going to push all the water out anyway. And of course you're going to want to make sure you do both sides very well, uh, of course, because there is a little bit of distilled water on it. So, and some of the cleaning solution. All right. So now we're just going to pour it. We're going to fully submerge it. You want to make sure you flip both sides. Just make sure it gets a good even clean, and to get all that pushed out. You can leave it there for about a minute, which is fine. Um, you can do maybe a minute on each side, flip it. and So after you let it dry, make sure it dries very well. You can put it under like a fan or you can put it under anything else. Really, that just makes sure it's dry. Flip it up a few times. We want to make sure it's completely dry. And this is what you get after that. You see all these components. Everything looks fantastic. There isn't really any stains that you can see. There's a little bit of marks there, here and there. But that's okay. That's just from the, that's just on the PCB. So but all the chips and components, it, it cleaned it up very well. Everything does look fantastic. Look at the shine on that chips, on everything, all these little components. All that corrosion that was on there before is totally gone. It's very clean. It almost looks brand new. And that's what the Ultrasonic delivers. You know, that about $1,500, that's what it's going to get you is this very, very beautiful clean. It's going to do a much better job than anyone can really do with their hand. Um, it is part of like a medical supplies, so you know they use it to clean lots of other things. So we use it for boards, and everyone in our industry actually uses the same thing. Um, it's a great device. You can see it's so much better than doing it on hand. Look how nice that component looks too. All the shadows, everything looks like it kind of went away, and it's just there's just a little bit left, but that's just from some of the. You can see, too, all the components do look fantastic. We're going to show you on the flip side. There again. All the connections look very, very, very good. It's very shiny now and clean. Nothing really even looks impacted, you know? Here's the, the other side of it. And here's the rest of it, how the chips look very good. So if you have a really damaged board, you want to make sure you get something like this. It's very good if you do it, if you're doing this for a living, if you have a business or anything. You're going to always run across different types of boards, and some are going to be like this bad, or some can even be a lot worse than this. You know, it's, It would be pretty hard to see one that's really bad like that, but this is a fantastic product to get. And um, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. If you could, just leave a comment below to see what you guys think. We got some cool stuff in there, so we keep pushing it you know, to you guys as well. Um, please subscribe for a lot more of this, this cool content. We'll be using this in the future too as well, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.